There's a saying, home is where the heart is. For Leah Davison, home may be Jericho, Vermont, but her heart is in Williston, at least for this weekend. The 2012 Olympian made her return to the Catamount Classic this afternoon with the hopes of defending her track title from a year ago. Davison fresh off a successful defense of her U.S. Elite Cross Country National title last week in Pennsylvania. And to think, she missed most of the season after having hip surgery. Many 2012 Olympians on hand to attempt to knock Davison off the sports throne, but through the first two laps, she set the pace. However, on the third lap, she was passed by 2012 Olympic medalist Katarina Nash. And on the fourth lap, she remained in second behind Aaron Huck. But a late crash by Huck coming into the final lap helped the Jericho native seize control of the race. From there, Davison increased her lead on the field of 33 in front of her friends, family, and students. She embraced every moment down the final stretch. For the second straight year, Leah Davison wins the annual Catamount Classic with a time of 1 hour, 31 minutes, and 55 seconds, a victory she claims to be as good as any. Oh, it's amazing. It's honestly a dream come true to win in my backyard. You know, this is where I started mountain biking, so I, I honestly could not be happier. And this field is competitive, so I was just out there to try my best, but uh, yeah, it worked out. The Vermont crowds really propelled me to the win, so I'm like, I'm so happy. The pro men kicked off the day of racing at the Catamount Outdoor Family Center. The star-studded race featured several lead changes throughout the six-lap event that totaled 24 miles. Through the first few laps, Quebec native Antoine Caron led the field through the woods and across several jumps. Close behind was North Carolina's Kerry Werner Jr. Also racing on Saturday was Leah Davison's coach and Williston native Andy Bishop. At 49 years old, the former Tour de France rider had an impressive showing, but it was a photo finish for the top spot on the podium. With a time of 1 hour, 39 minutes and 55 seconds, Caron claims his first pro XCT win of the season. Yeah, really good, especially with uh, the season I've been having so far. I, I broke my scaphoid earlier, and uh, it's, yeah, it's really, it's a really, really big uh, boost of confidence and super motivating for the, the next two, two World Cups coming up.